So uh, we have to go on uh, to uh, the last um, presentation of this uh, session, uh, which is uh, by um, Nastasia Pilonis um, from the National Oncology Institute in Warsaw and uh, Poland. Uh, she will talk about uh, participation in competing strategies for colorectal cancer screening, a randomized health services study, the so-called Picolino study. So please go ahead. Okay, so thank you very much again, Professor Brenner, uh, for this kind uh, introduction. And uh, it really is a great privilege uh, to present uh, today the results of our randomized study on uh, participation in competing strategies for colorectal cancer screening. And uh, firstly, I would like to disclose that uh, Aiken provided FIT test for this study. The plan for this talk is to go through the background design and the result of this study. I will finish with some conclusion, which I hope you would like to discuss afterwards. So although European and American guidelines recommend CRC screening, screening rates remain low uh, or suboptimal. So Poland, Germany, and Austria are the only countries highlighted on this map that use primary screening colonoscopy. And screening participation is significantly lower than other countries, which utilize fecal testing. Well, colonoscopy is considered the most uh, more efficacious test and may be accepted uh, by the individual seeking high reassurance and infrequent testing, uh, but not by those averse to inv invasive tests which require direct contact with a healthcare provider. On the other hand, fecal testing may achieve a higher participation rate as it's less invasive. Uh, however, individuals uh, may be averse to obtaining stool samples and repeating testing. So one size fits all approaches to CRC screening do not result in satisfactory participation. Therefore, combining the high diagnostic yield of colonoscopy with high participation rate of FIT would be optimal for CRC screening. But the question here is, how do we increase participation while retaining efficacious outcomes? So to address this question, we design a randomized study within the framework of Polish colonoscopy screening program. We compared three screening strategies cited by the US guidelines. The first was a control, which is the current practice in Poland where individuals were invited to screening colonoscopy only. The second was a sequential strategy where patients were invited to a primary colonoscopy and later invited to for FIT if they did not respond to the first invitation. The third was uh, a choice strategy where patients were simultaneously offered the choice between colonoscopy or FIT. Eligible candidates were randomly assigned in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio to participate in one of the three strategies. Uh, after the initial invitation, follow-up for all strategies was done after six weeks and to reiterate for the control group that was a second invitation for colonoscopy. For the sequential group, this was an invitation to FIT testing. And finally, for the choice group, this was an invitation to either colonoscopy or FIT testing. All individuals aged 55 to 64 living in a target area of each screening center were eligible for the study. The only exclusion criteria were diagnosis of CRC or screening colonoscopy performed within the previous 10 years. The primary outcome of the Picolino study was participation in CRC screening within 18 weeks after enrollment, defined as completion of colonoscopy or completion of FIT along with colonoscopy for positive FIT results. The secondary outcome was diagnostic yield for CRC or advanced adenomes. So approximately 12,500 individuals were eligible for our study. After exclusions due to death, prior colonoscopy, contraindications, CRC or invalid addresses, there were just under 4,000 individuals included in each of the three groups. What we did find out was that unsurprisingly, 
Uh, participation was higher in the sequential and choice groups compared to the control. Screening process completion was achieved in 17.5% of participants in a control group, almost 26% in a sequential strategy group, and 26.5% in a choice group. So as you can see, there was no significant difference in participation between the sequential and choice group. When we look at our secondary outcome of diagnostic yield, we saw that advanced neoplasia detection rates were similar across the study groups. So it was detected in roughly 1% of participants uh, for each of the groups. With a cutoff of uh, 10 micrograms per gram, FIT positivity rates were 9.3% in a sequential and 9.5% in a choice group. And unfortunately, despite active call record uh, efforts, uh, the diagnostic workup colonoscopy rates for positive uh, FITs were 70 and 73%. Multivariable analysis showed that assignment to sequential or choice strategies uh, was independently associated with 64 and 70% higher participation uh, relative to the control group. The only other significant variables were age and distance from screening center. So if the individuals were over 60, uh, they were 12% more likely to participate, while if uh, they were more than 40 kilometers for a screening center, they were 18% less likely to participate. So in conclusion, Combining FIT and colonoscopy resulted in 60-70% higher participation rates relative to offering primary colonoscopy alone. Introducing FIT resulted in an absolute 8-10% to increase of participation. There was no differences in participation between sequential and choice strategies. And it's worth noting that increasing participation achieved by one round of FIT testing did not translate into increase of advanced adenoma detection. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you very much for this um, uh, wonderful presentation of a, a really important and a highly interesting um, a trial. Um, Unfortunately, again, we have not much time for, um, or actually we would not really have time for a discussion, but I would still uh, at least allow uh, one question. And um, there was a question again from um, uh, Iris Lansdorp uh, Vogler, um, uh, which is the following. Uh, did you send out the fit or should individuals pick up the fit at a GP or pharmacy? Yeah, so all the invitations uh, included FIT kits. As, uh, as well as primary uh, primary invitation as rain light. So it was mailed? Huh? Yeah, it was mailed from the very beginning together with an invitation. Okay, um, thank you very much.